Who Sagittarius? How are you all doing? I hope all is well. Let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius? Please and thank you. Okay, so Okay, the current situation, someone's ready to spring into action. The challenge is a Taurus. The challenge is, <laughs> it could be a Taurus, but it's also the Hierophant here. So someone being stubborn about a particular situation between you and them. So they know they need to spring into action, but they're being stubborn. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo here. You will be receiving a text or a call from this person. They're wanting you to know for sure. You guys will be definitely getting some communication from this person. I mean, do I have to tell you guys that y'all have some nosy people in your business or at this point, y'all are well aware that you are always going to have somebody that's nosy and up in your business. Yes, your overall energy is ring. So it's definitely a commitment for you guys here. I'm getting some of y'all are like by it's like some of y'all are about to be in a commitment here. Hold on, let's dive into these feelings to see how you and this person are feeling. You I can't take three. I could take two, but not three. Someone has so much that they're feeling. There's a, I'm getting this a lot of sexual energy. Some of y'all could be picking up on it from this person, you and this person, but with four is a lot of stability. The promise for stability in this connection. You're feeling like this connection between you and this person will just only get better over time. And you're wanting to build some sort of fam family legacy with this person. This person is, they're currently waiting to see how things will unfold, but this person feels like there are, there's so much opportunities in store for this connection between you and this person. They're wanting to make some sort of bold move towards you, but they're trying to like refrain from doing it because they feel like it's just not quite the right time here. But you make this person really happy with the summer card. <sighs> they're seeing you in the emperor and the hangman energy here. So they're seeing you as someone who's very independent. You're a leader as well. They also feel like you can be um, impatient. And you're a very assertive individual. Some of you guys could have strong Aries uh, placements as well. You guys could be dealing with the Aries or a cardinal sign or also a Leo here. But it's, it's funny because they're seeing you taking, I'm getting whoever this is for, they're seeing you take action towards some sort of inspiration, something that you're very inspirational about. 
there's some sort of fantasy of yours that you're taking action towards, like making some sort of dream come true, some sort of dream, dream of yours come true. But they also feel like some of y'all have, like you're a very spiritual individual. Some of you guys have psychic abilities and you guys may be using this to your advantage to like manifest some life some form of material abundance here. It, it's like you guys are taking action towards something here. It's like a natural talent of yours and you're utilizing it to your advantage. That's how they're seeing you. You're seeing this person like they're going places. I'm, I'm getting, actually what I'm getting that you're seeing from this person, you feel like this person is shifting away from you. You feel like they're moving on. They're moving away from you. Their advice for you is to learn more about this connection. To look more into the situation. Why is book the... Because you're needing to read up more on this... Oh, okay. Because also the King of Hearts is popping up here. So this person does want... So it's like you're seeing them as moving on. They're moving away from you. You feel like they're drifting away. But they're saying that there's something that uh, that's unknown. And if you were to take the time to look further into this situation, you will realize... Because some of you guys are dealing with like a devoted mother, a devoted father. They're wanting to be fair. And like this person is all about doing the right thing. Because they're, they're focused on... Like they're the king of their jungle. So they're the one, there's, they are the one in charge. But like they're the ones that are responsible for creating some sort of foundation. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with someone who already has children. But whatever obstacles there are, they're being removed. But I'm getting like, however this situation is being made out to be, if you were to look more into this situation, you'll realize that there is a just cause here. Because again, it's more information needed. Some of you guys stop looking more. You you stop trying to look more into the situation. It was possibly driving some of y'all crazy. And you let it go. Because you, it's like you're working up the strength to like overcome the situation. And I'm getting this because some of y'all feel like this person is moving on. And it's because you're wanting to be more loving and nurturing towards yourself. You're wanting to like restore happiness in your own life to get your life back on track. It's, it's a lot of misunderstandings between you and this person. There's a lot of misunderstandings. Because there is some information that is being overlooked here. That is evident. It keeps saying something is being overlooked. And then it's misunderstandings.
I'm definitely getting y'all were obsessing over this situation in the past. And that's why I'm getting you guys are just like letting it go. You're letting it go. It, it, it's just like it is what it is. You're not going to like, you're not going to continue to allow the situation to get the best of you. It's like if this person isn't speaking up, if they're not taking the action, then it is what it is. You're not going to focus on it anymore. But you're about to get some sort of apology from them. And you know what? As soon as I pulled that card, like, I felt this huge relief. So some of you guys, like, it's going to allow you to have, like, this huge relief, a uh, moment of relief here. So a lot of chemistry. There's some sort of interference. You learn the spiritual lesson. I'm not getting the interference as a person. I'm getting that the interference is just some sort of like growth that was needed to take place. But let's dive deeper and see what's going on. Because you both feel the same way about each other. There's a lot of love between the two of you. Okay. It's funny because they see you as doing your own thing. They see you attracting a lot of attention towards you. And you feel like this person is possibly exploring other options. Like they're moving on. And the, the conflict here is confusion. This is the, your current challenge is there's so much confusion with the seven of cups in this situation between you and this person. At the root of it all, you both miss each other here. You're feeling nostalgic. It's too many cards. All right, two ones to pop up. Okay, so the overall energy is the Six of Swords. So things will be improving in the situation between you and this person. Your outcome is the Ace of Cups. So an offer of love coming your way. This person, I'm definitely getting, it's like they are currently wanting to offer you a stable new beginning. Like they're wanting to offer you something solid. But they're seeing you in the Seven of Swords energy. So they feel like you've been deceptive towards them. Or at least they feel like they're they're they feel like there's some there's some sort of deceit on your end here. Your advice, and we'll clarify that, but your advice from spirit is to get out of your head because I'm getting like you guys are creating like all these scenarios that aren't even real regarding this. Like you're creating more confusion in this situation by like these things that you're making up in your head regarding the situation. And it's just because there's a lack of clarity. But you guys are currently letting go of the hope of things being restored in this connection. But then they're saying because they're, the both of you miss each other you're ultimately going to end up right back on the right. Because they're saying that there's a purpose for the two of you being in each other's life. So you're going to ultimately end up back on track with each other with the star energy. 
you had two people in the past. I'm getting one person you knew longer than the other. Um, and there was someone that you felt you had like a lot of romantic feelings for like someone here. And I'm gonna tell you what, whoever you were dealing with, there was a lot of chemistry between you and this person, but whoever you were dealing with, this person had the tendency to observe you from afar. And even though they had love, they did have like, I mean, they wanted to offer something romantic towards you, but they never acted on it. They never, you know, spoke on it. But then there's this new energy here. And it's like this person came in while this person was just observing you, not really doing anything. This person comes in and they show up and there's a lot of potential in this connection. I'm going to have to clarify because let me see what you're feeling and what they're feeling. They feel like it's so much like mystery to you. They feel like it's so much about you that they don't know. It's You know what I'm getting? Whoever y'all were dealing with. There's it's so much unknown in this connection with the moon energy here. Uh cancer is ruled by the moon. Some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer, Scorpio is as well but with the king of water you guys are very compassionate towards this person i'm getting like even you know this person coming back you guys will still seek to you'll seek understanding from this person you feel like this is someone that you can trust i'm definitely i'm gonna say this Even if this person expressed themselves in the past, there was something where it's like it led towards you believing there was some sort of potential in the connection here. This person was observing you longer than, like they had been observing you for a minute before they finally took action here or they, because pinnacle energy is, actually acting in like the physical realm here versus like cups is emotions fan fantasizing you know but earth energy is there is some sort of solid action here there is something that was actually done so someone acted on the way that they felt here someone could have gave like sent a message there was something I'm really getting like a letter or message received here. Some sort of romantic proposal. Let me get clarity regarding this because something went down in the past. Because someone said, you know what? I'm tired of... Some of y'all could have been the ones to initiate something here because you saw a lot of potential in a connection between you and someone. And you felt like, okay, you know this person has romantic feelings towards you, but they're just observing you. They're probably too shy to act on it, to speak. So you guys like initiated things here. what happened in this past situation. So I'm getting, there was a lot of sexual attraction between you and someone here, or at least 
someone felt inspired to take action towards someone in order to have a beginning here. It's not just a new beginning, a new beginning in someone's life, but it doesn't mean that this is someone that you're having a new beginning with. You just wanted some sort of beginning with someone. So someone felt inspired to reach out or to take action towards someone, but in response to their action, they felt like the love was not reciprocated. They felt like they were turned down. Someone felt like they were possibly being too clingy. And so I'm getting, someone was made to feel like they were being clingy because they felt like their love was not being reciprocated. And so they created boundaries. They established boundaries to protect themselves. And now the person that they created boundaries with is now like they're having all these fears and anxieties. They're stressed out because they realize that you set boundaries with them and they feel left out in the cold. And now they're even scared to come towards you. And they're regretting like the way they responded in a particular situation or they're regretting walking away. Someone could feel like you have other options, like they feel like you're getting a lot of attention. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is this person seeing Sagittarius as the Seven of Swords? The Tower in Reverse and the Hierophant. They feel like you're still holding on to some other commitment here. They feel like you're involved with someone else and you're not telling them. They feel like you are involved with someone else and you're not telling them about it. Are they? Is Sagittarius involved in another commitment? They're spying on you. I'm not getting y'all are involved in another commitment. I'm going to tell you what, I am getting that some of y'all were, I'm getting y'all had someone spying on you, but I'm also getting that some of y'all were spying on someone that you wanted a commitment with, but this person wasn't taking action towards you. But with the Queen of Pentacles, this lets me know that this is someone like, this, this has been long... This, you know, even though you may have love for someone here, but it has been, it's been, it's evident here that something isn't going to happen between you and someone else here. Yeah, it, because the decision, you know, you, you know, it, it's not taking place between you and someone else here. But for whatever reason, the person that you're currently dealing with, they feel like you're still involved with someone else. They still feel like you're holding on to that commitment with that person. Tell me more about uh, the high priestess energy for the way that they're feeling towards Sagittarius. This person, uh, it doesn't matter. No matter what, this person wants to put efforts towards this because they feel like in the long run, it's going to pay off for them. And they also see you as the Queen of Pentacles. They they see that, first of all, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who doesn't stay single for long. So they're like, regardless, they don't want someone to come along and steal you away when they want to put work towards this themselves because they feel like this is going to like this relationship with you is going to benefit them in the end and not like they're trying to take advantage of you but they just know like they're they'll be happy to be in a relationship with you like it'll be well worth their time and effort all the time that they put in this commitment with you they're going to be rewarded for it Yeah, this person knows for sure.
Why is the Eight of Swords their advice? Why is the Eight of Swords the advice for Sagittarius? So they're wanting you to get out of your head, get like they're wanting you to set yourself free of all this confusion here because this relationship between you and this person it looks like it's very promising. Like there's a very promising, fulfilling commitment between you and this person. And they're saying that this person has good intentions towards you. Like this person intends to treat you very well. They want to make you very happy. So some of you guys could be second guess. I'm getting some of y'all because of like some toxic relationships you were in in the past. You tend to like doubt. You create all of this doubt and confusion whenever you feel like you're headed towards a serious committed relationship here. But they're saying to get out of your head because this person has good intentions towards you. They plan on treating you very well and they want to make you very happy. So you can stop creating all this self-doubt and illusion here. Okay, let's go ahead and get some oracle messages for you guys. So this person is currently like burying themselves in work so that they're not focused on you. But they can't let you go and you guys will be together again. So I'm getting some of y'all have like a real chill, laid back type of energy. Some of y'all could be younger as well, or you're dealing with someone that's younger. Um, you know what? Because whenever I see this, this lets me know that this is someone that you can be yourself with. And you feel right at home with this person. They feel the same way about you. I'm really, because I see this person showing up to their doorstep. So someone could be coming to visit you. Yeah, there's definitely someone very focused on you at this time. I'm definitely seeing you guys dating someone here shortly, but it's been someone that's focused on you, focused on restoring a connection with you. So, and this person is determined to have you back in their life. I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates with us. With that being said, you all take care.